this is just like a bag of stuff that I kind of have within reach at all times. I made a video last week about all the stuff I carry on my person to deal with problems. And this video, I want to talk about this guy. Before you think I'm a crazy doomsday prepper, maybe a little, I want to talk about insurance. Uh, my friends and I sometimes talk about the value of preparation or prepping or we watch, you know, those shows and laugh and stuff like that. It's just insurance. You buy car insurance because in the event you get into an accident, you want to cover your bases. Either you hurt somebody or you hurt yourself or you damage your vehicle. And you don't want to get in an accident. It just makes sense from a risk trade-off standpoint. Okay, I'm going to pay $100 a month so that I don't have to pay $100,000. And you can do the accounting math and figure out the net present value of that risk and the likelihood you'll get. I mean, that's what they do to figure out your rate. Um, roadside assistance. Okay, if I get a flat tire, well, I can change a flat tire. Um, okay, if the truck breaks down and it needs a tow, I have sort of that covered. Not, you know, a couple hundred dollars, maybe it's $25. Uh, the EDC stuff that I talked about last time and this bag is another form of insurance. And if you carry a firearm, that's another form of insurance. You may not be able to just call to get a problem solved. Um, it's nice to have the insurance in case you need it. Often, some of these things in here I never hope to have to use, but the insurance policy that this represents can mean the difference between life and death sometimes. So let's go in and see all this stuff that is in this bag. I do not carry this bag like all the time. I, when I go somewhere, I put it in the car. Uh, when I'm at home, it's in the office or the shop. It's like, if I need it, I can go get it, but it's not with me at all the time because it's, that's a huge hassle. It's not really designed for that. So let's, let's go through each item and I'll tell you why it's part of this package. And if you're interested in Getting this stuff for yourself, I have links in the description below of all these products. Um, and uh, if you like this type of content, please click the like, uh, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe, and do all that stuff. Okay, so this is a Helicon gray shoulder EDC bag. It has lots of sort of pockets and this webbing stuff so you can add more packages. And, you know, I, I suppose if I could, this would be good for a hike. Like a, like a light hike too, because I could add stuff to it. I could add my, uh, what's that called? The little uh, hammock tent. That package is maybe this big. Um, so you, this, could, this could be very versatile as a bag. Uh, it has side pocket here, front pocket, another pocket, another pocket here, um, and a big back pocket here. And, uh, Inside, there's all these little webbings and mini pockets and stuff like that. So as I pull out all the items, I'll sort of show where they, where they all are. Uh, so the two things that are, there's a couple things that are on this. Uh, first is this Hydro Flask 40 ounce water bottle. I, lo I love this thing. It's gray. It holds 40 ounces of water. If you put ice in it and water, it's cold for like, I don't know over 24 hours. It's just, it's so nice to just have ice cold water whenever you want it. And you gotta hydrate. So I just have this filled anytime because if you go, you know, if, if, you, if you go shopping all day long for groceries like I did yesterday, at the end of that trip, you're like, I am so thirsty. And you have water right here. Uh, one thing uh, about this bag is I added a piece of uh, paracord here because uh, maybe this is better for a, like a little water bottle, but for this size, 
this gets pretty tight. And so it's nice to be able to pull this to get it in there nice and snug. All right, on this piece of webbing, I have a little, it's, it doesn't matter what, it's just, it's an inexpensive inch and metric tape measure uh, because it's nice to know how long things are. Uh, you know, if you're at the lumber yard or uh, you need to do a quick estimate or something like that. This is the tape measure that lives on this bag. I don't use this in the shop unless I unless I absolutely have lost a tape measure. Um, this is designed for like, I need a tape measure right now, so it, it always lives here, and then it goes back here. On the bottom here, super quick access, we have a uh, tourniquet. I'm gonna take a class, and I encourage anybody watching this to take some sort of trauma first aid class. Uh, that's on the to-do list because you can really mess somebody up if you tighten a tourniquet too much. Uh, that's at least I know that much. But and this is one of those items that I really hope I never have to use. But you could save somebody's life. I mean, you have no idea what could happen. You could you could be driving along minding your own business, car rolls over, guy gets his leg sliced open by the glass, it's bleeding out, and boom, you're right there. Before you know, you can't wait. For an ambulance to come to solve that type of problem. I, this is something that I don't know how much it weighs. Very light. I hope it never comes out of here. But, uh, you know, with a kid on the way and I'm out here in bear country now, you, you have no idea. So this is, this is always going to be within reach. Uh, and it's on the bottom here so that I can whip it out real quick. Uh, also, emergency poncho. This is very light as well. Um, if this is more for like, okay, you're out in the middle of the woods on a sunny day and a freak thunderstorm happens, uh, you can throw this guy on. Um, you, you know, you really should check the weather before you do any type of hiking, but this is nice to have. Um, so let's start to dig into the case. I'm gonna go this pocket and then to the front and the back here. So in this pocket I have, oh, this is the best, Ace Beam H30 headlamp. Oh man, that's bright. So bright it just drained the battery. I gotta charge this thing. It, uh, I think it can max out at like 1500 lumens. It also has a there it is. That's for like, you're in camp or you're in the dark or you're around friends and you don't want to blind them. Um, this thing is really cool. It's waterproof. It has um, one of these big high capacity lithium ion batteries. And it has the charge port right here. So both this and the flashlight that I have on, on me at all times have these USB charge ports, which are, are fantastic. Um, this you put on your head, you know. So you can uh, do work and fiddle around with something. Maybe you gotta change a tire and it's dark, or you're working all day in a dark area because they haven't installed the electrical yet. It's really good to have a headlamp um, as, as sort of, you, you gotta see stuff. Also in this pocket is a roll, small roll of Gorilla Tape because you never know when you're gonna have to tape something. And it, this is really strong, sticky tape. So you could use this for a whole, all sorts of uh, fixes or patches or your pipes leaking or something like that. In this pocket, you'll notice there's extra webbing and other things like that. All right, so now this front little pocket. In here I have an anchor charger, two USB, and uh, it shows the capacity here. You can plug it in, but it also stores battery power in here. And in here also is 
a USB-C cable with these really cool little USB-C to USB micro adapters. I don't have to carry two cables now. My little flashlight, and you know, you'll run into something that has a USB micro that needs charging. You just pop it on there and, and away you go. But you don't have to carry a whole extra cable to bumble around. So that is good for keeping the phone charged up. If you start to run on batteries, uh, I could transfer power from this to the, the headlamp. Always good to be able to charge your stuff. Also in this pocket is a pair of gloves. These are the, the Showa Atlas 370. These are my favorite gloves. Uh, there were some really nice gloves I had when I was living in Japan. They love gloves over there. I mean, you go to a store, workhouse, uh, where they have just a million different types of gloves. Uh, I think these ones might be made in Japan too. Super grippy, you can use a phone with them, like you can still use the capacitive touch screen. Uh, so you have a lot of good dexterity, but it's always gonna have a pair of gloves because you're always gonna be making a mess living your life. All right, next pocket. All right, this has lots of little webbing and stuff like that. Lighter, just a standard cheap Bic lighter because I don't always wanna make a fire with my ferro rod that's on my my uh, multi-tool. It's nice to just light something up. Also, Pilot G2.07, this is the best pen ever made. No, no need to make more pens. We should just all get on the Pilot G2 standard. So always carry one of these. You gotta write stuff down. Sharpie, I opted for the pro model with the little pointy tip, but Sharpie's also good for writing on surfaces. Nail clippers. Uh, it's a pain to have long nails when you're doing some types of work because if you split one off, it's not fun, but also, you know, you just have it with you. Tweezer man, really pointy tweezers. Uh, these are an upgrade to the first aid kit that's sort of stashed in here. They, they come with very tiny tweezers. I really like these tw quality tweezers. Pulling out splinters, so satisfying. And I just realized that they, they're so pointy they can be used to open up your little phone SD card thing. Also inside on this front pocket is Chapstick. I haven't even opened this and I don't really use chapstick. I kind of am carrying this so that if my wife or somebody needs chapstick, I can give them chapstick. Uh, this whistle came with the first aid kit. You know, SOS, make a really loud noise. We have your basic ibuprofen. Uh, Dramamine, Tums, anti-diarrhea, you gotta have that in case you're blowing out your ass. Uh, more Dramamine, I should probably clean this up a little bit. Sting relief, antiseptic ointment, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, sort of all the medical stuff just to have on hand. <laughs> Always the case, usually ends up being somebody's hungover. And I'm like, here, have a, have a, I think it's ibuprofen is okay for the headache. But this is part of the first aid kit. There's a, a small first aid kit kind of distributed through this pack that um, tourniquet was one part of it. The medicines are another part of it. And then in this pouch here, Again, bandages, first aid, moleskin, all the safe first aid stuff that's really helpful to have with you. In this big pocket, we have emergency rescue blanket, if you're hot or you're cold. This is also part of the first aid kit. Uh, one of these 
large compression gauze bandages. Very helpful to have in any kind of trauma situation. And an emergency bandage. This is a uh, it's a fairly big item of kit. I'm I'm debating whether or not to to trim some of this stuff down and kind of figure out like what's the likely encounter. Uh, I used to carry a like a water um, filtration straw, but I'm like, why would like unless I'm in the wilderness, I'm not going to run out of water. Like there's a you know there's a Wendy's right there or there's a Chipotle over there. So I, I put, took that out of the pack to make more room and, uh, you know, kept more of the first aid stuff. Gauze bandage, also part of first aid. And a full big roll of paracord. You know, I have the paracord bracelet, but this, you know, I, I would prefer not to have to destroy this unless it was like a real, real situation. This is just, I think it's 100 feet or 50 feet of real military high strength paracord for lifting stuff, tying stuff, whatever. I, I already used it to patch the bag. All right, that's it for, the, oh, I got some more stuff. These came with a first aid kit. They are the um, trauma scissors. So like they have this tab here so you can like cut somebody's pants off if they're bleeding or something. Um, Helpful to have this instead of having to like fumble with a knife and end up stabbing somebody that's already injured. And then the, you know, the first aid tape. So the last pocket is this back one and this has just a, a notebook. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to, to use up this notebook, which is just a regular uh, ring notebook. Uh, and then I have those write in the rain pads, which are waterproof and you can write in the rain. Uh, I just didn't want to toss a perfectly good notebook that has lots of capacity. But, you know, a paper and pen solve so many problems. You can write a map for somebody. You can write somebody's phone number down in, in a pinch. You don't have to pull up your contacts and fiddle around with that. Uh, it's, a, you know, write down a list of stuff. It's amazing how many problems you can solve with a paper and a pen. And also we have one of these... Screwdrivers, I think it's a six in one, so it has the Phillips uh, one and two and a uh, hex uh, wrench thing here. And the two different types of flatheads and a, a larger hex wrench. I, I really like this style of screwdriver. I know they have all sorts of crazy multifunction screwdrivers, but this one just just works. And uh, it gets tire, tiring to use the screwdriver on the multi-tool. So if I have access to this and I need a screwdriver, I can just grab this guy. This was just a cheap one I found on Amazon. Uh, I think I have a Craftsman version of this and I have a really old version of this somewhere at home, but that's very helpful to have. And the last thing at the very bottom, one of these big 100 Metrex chocolate bars that's been smashed because it's been in the hot car. I think this is, has, what does this have? 400 calories. It's like emergency food. Uh, the most likely use case is perhaps a significant other is starting to get hangry because it's been a long day. Boom, deployed. Here, babe, eat this, you'll feel better. Uh, but in like a hiking situation, you know, it's nice to be able to have a snack. And if I use it, sometimes I'm hungry, sometimes I'm out and I don't feel like eating lunch, just eat this and replace it when I get home. Okay, so that's all the stuff in the everyday carry bag. Um, I didn't think I would sort of be this type of person, but I was on a trip with some friends. We were driving their truck on sort of a back truck trail and it was way colder up this hill and I was in a t-shirt and sandals and we didn't have cell service. And I realized, oh man, if there's a problem, we, we are we are effed because we don't have no no first aid uh cell phones don't work we can't get ourselves out of a jam and that really put it in my head like i should be prepared for this you know boy scout model always motto always be prepared um and that's when i kind of built this kit out and i've used the first aid i've used all the pens and all the, most of the stuff i've thankfully not had to use the uh 
the medical stuff too much. Um, so I hope this has inspired you to sort of get your preparations in order and uh, your situation is going to be different. Like you might not need a screwdriver if you're at the office all the time. Um, you know, you might have certain specifics to your line of work or hobby that you like to keep with you all the time or have an extra. So, you know, customize it to your content, obviously. And what else? Is that it? Oh, upgrades. Uh, this kit is probably going to end up with a little mini uh, radio. So like if, if we need to communicate where we can't use cell phones, radio will go in there. And that's, I'm not sure if that's going to be something I carry with me at all the time. Uh, you know, like if I take this to the grocery store. But if I go out into the wilderness or out in a place where there's no cell service, I'll for sure throw that in there. And then this back pocket here, there's a Velcro um, holder and you can put, you can put a firearm in there. So maybe that is an upgrade, we'll see. Um, that might be a discussion for another day. Okay, well, thanks again for watching. Let me know if you like this type of content and I'll, I'll try to tell you what else is going on in my world. Uh, please thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, thanks, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Thanks everybody for watching. If you found this content helpful, please consider supporting Never Stop Building. The easiest way to do that is to simply hit that red subscribe button and click the bell to get notified of new videos and content that I release. If you really want to be my best buddy, become a Patreon subscriber where you can get plans to all these projects, uh, exclusive content, and much more. So check the description below for a link to that. And as always, never stop building.